I'm going to take the opportunity first to compliment and congratulate our delegation that represented us with distinction at the recently concluded meetings in Durban in December. Our delegation was led by our permanent secretary, Ms. Joy Crease, and included several persons as indicated before. I'd like to congratulate Ms. Crease and all members of our delegation for the wonderful work that they did in South Africa in putting on the table and putting on the front burner the interests of Trinidad and Tobago and all our solidarity and collaborative efforts in the region on this major global issue. I also want to take this opportunity to extend our very deep appreciation, which we will also do in letter by writing, to His Excellency Mr. Harry Partap, Trinidad and Tobago's High Commissioner to South Africa, who extended all courtesies to our delegation and ensured that they were comfortable uh, at all times and provided enormous support in South Africa for this meeting and for all our uh, representatives. So we'll extend to, Mr. to His Excellency, Mr. Paratap, uh, in, in letter on your behalf as well, your thanks, the thanks of the delegation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no secret, as, as Kishan said earlier, that Trinidad and Tobago, within recent times, has sought to reposition itself in the international community as being a very serious actor on the environmental front. And we demonstrate this not only in terms of writing and theory and indeed policy within recent times as you know we have approved that cabinet our climate change policy that has been laid as a parliament public document it was in parliament we delivered a statement we have also developed our forest area and protected protected areas policy we have also developed and passed by cabinet we spoke about it a green uh, policy for the government of trinidad and tobago